digital age, we stay inside more than ever. Therefore, picking the right indoor light source for your eyes is important. In this lecture, I'll briefly talk about pros and cons of lighting sources available for us nowadays. Incandescent, halogen, fluorescent, and the latest technology LEDs. Then I'll give you some tips for picking healthy lighting source for your eyes and eye health. First, I'll talk about incandescent bulbs, which are the original form of electric lighting and have been in use for over 100 years, which you can say is an ancient. The good thing about incandescent is that they give their typical orange, yellow, warm appearing light, thus easier on the eyes. They cost much less than CFLs and LEDs. No mercury, no dirty electricity. Dirty electricity or electrical noise has been linked to headaches, sleep disturbances, ringing in the ear, among other symptoms. You can use incandescent to mimic the sunlight and to train your eyes to see better, especially in winter time. Bad things about incandescent is that they don't last as long and are highly energy inefficient. Due to their high energy consumption, incandescent bulbs are no longer manufactured in the United States since 2014, but you can still buy them online like Amazon. Next, I'll talk about halogen light bulbs. Halogen bulbs are technically incandescent light bulbs, but made with a halogen filament rather than tungsten filament. The good things about halogen is that they have a light spectrum more like that of the natural sunlight, easier on the eyes, and liked by many people for inside and outside of their house. Halogens have a longer life and slightly cooler, whiter in color, and higher efficiency than traditional incandescent bulbs. They contain no mercury, no dirty electricity. Bad things about halogens is that they are less energy efficient than LEDs and CFLs. As halogen is less energy efficient than LEDs and CFLs, some countries are phasing out halogen bulbs, but there are still plenty in the market. What about fluorescent lights and CFLs? Fluorescent lights cast a harsh bluish light. Fluorescent tubes you see mostly on the ceilings in offices, public or industrial buildings and older homes have been very commonly used because they use less energy than traditional incandescent bulbs. CFLs, compact fluorescent light bulbs, those curly light bulbs are just modified versions of the fluorescent light. CFLs are commonly used in home environment as they fit in standard household light sockets. Good things about fluorescents is that they save energy and last longer than incandescent or halogen light bulbs. There are many bad things about fluorescent lights. They emit substantial levels of blue light and UV light. They are bad for your eyesight as its blue light scatters more easily, making it hard for your eyes to focus if you try to read or work directly under it. They are a source of dirty electricity. Fluorescent tubes and CFLs can be hazardous to health as they contain a small amount of mercury. Mercury is a toxic metal known as neurotoxin leading to many brain function damage. When fluorescent tubes or CFLs break, the mercury can spill and can create a health risk. Now you know the downside of using fluorescent lights. Next, I'll talk about the latest technology, LED, light emitting diode light bulbs. The latest technology, LED light. Because LEDs are much more energy efficient than other light bulbs, they became omnipresent in TVs, computer screens, smartphones, tablets, and certain e-readers. LED light bulbs are also used in many home and office settings, as you know. There are many good things about LEDs. They are much more energy efficient and last longer than other light bulbs. They give out high brightness and intensity. They are tough and durable. They have many color options. Unlike fluorescent bulbs, LEDs do not contain mercury. LEDs generate light using a semiconductor. So you can program LEDs to change to different colors and set the time to turn it on, etc. LEDs are also used commercially for outdoor signs, digital signage for events and advertisement. There are some downsides of using LEDs, unfortunately. LEDs emit significant amount of blue light, which can damage the eye's retina and disturb natural sleep rhythms. Even white LED technology and full spectrum LEDs still emit blue light. LEDs also flicker, although most people do not notice easily. This flickering causes invisible eye fatigue and even mental fatigue. LEDs create dirty electricity and increased electromagnetic radiation exposure. With much blue light and EMF radiation, LEDs are not good for the eyes and 
hertz. That is everything that standard LEDs do create a small amount of UV. LEDs tend to be more expensive than other light bulbs, but last longer. Lastly, research done by the University of California found that the internal components of an LED contain toxic materials such as arsenic, lead, iron, copper, and nickel. The LED researchers say, although the quantity of these materials is so minuscule that a broken LED presents no real threat to humans, they still recommend to follow safety precautions by sweeping them up while wearing gloves and a mask and disposing the debris and even the broom as hazardous waste. Finally, tips in selecting light bulbs. Now you know pros and cons of different light bulbs. Here are some practical tips on selecting light bulbs. The safest light bulbs are incandescent, although they are certainly not the most energy efficient. Use incandescent to read, mimic the sunlight, and to train your eyes to see better, especially in winter time. Avoid fluorescent tubes and CFLs if you have an option. If you have to use CFL bulbs, then find mercury-free CFLs or choose the ones that are double encapsulated. This will help protect the mercury from leaking out of if they are dropped. If you experience winter blues or seasonal affective disorders, or you live in a place where the sky is gray most of the time, use incandescent light bulb on a desk lamp rather than using full-spectrum LED light, which can be too white and bright for most people. If you are looking for decorative ceiling lights, then you probably need to select LEDs, as they come in all sorts of designs and colors. For kitchen island lights, which can be pretty close to your head, or recessed can light around the house, I'd pick halogen. Okay, we are done with the lighting options. Next, we'll move on to the next section, where I talk about how to reduce EMF and cell phone radiation and nutrition tips for your eyesight and eye health. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please share it with your friends. Hit the like button below and be sure to subscribe.